Oh my God. I've been smoking, drinking, tripping, thinking. God, I made it. God, I made it. Today we're going thrifting three times. Okay, we're going to three different stores. The first one is a by the pound store, which I've never done before. When I tell you I was so excited to do this, and I was so let down. I think the clothes here are all the things that didn't sell at the thrift store, so it's a lot of Joe Fresh, H&M, newer brands. I definitely don't regret going. Like, the experience was I was gonna say awakening, because I'm never going back. So everything was organized in bins, categorized by what garment they were. I started in the short section just because it was like the fucking closest to the front door, okay? I did find these 100% linen shorts, which I really fuck with. I do try them on a little bit later in the video, so you'll see how they fit. This skirt kind of caught my attention because I was like, what the fuck is it? Tons of pleats and then it has this almost like garter connected to shorts. I wasn't able to try it on because it was actually tiny, but definitely a very unique piece that I decided to add to the cart, probably because I was so down bad and hadn't found anything in the last 30 minutes. This skirt is the epitome of something you would wear if you are a nerd for Halloween or a hot schoolgirl. Like, I don't know what, as I said, I was down bad. So genuinely just seeing the tag seduction was like, yes, let's go. This is definitely my favorite skirt out of all the ones I found. It has buckles on kind of the back, which I've never seen before. I really liked this skirt as well. It did fit me pretty low-waisted. I absolutely loved this cargo skirt and I don't know what happened but when I went to try on my clothes it just wasn't in my cart anymore and then I forgot about it until I was actually editing this video and I'm like what the fuck the one cute thing I probably found and I didn't even get to try it on. They had some really beat up Uggs, so if you're in the market for that. It just weighs so much to pull purses out from the bottom. I was not having it. So I grabbed like three off the top and that was enough for me. Okay. I was definitely most excited to look through the jeans and I honestly just was not satisfied. I found some silver low rise jeans and just some pretty generic ones, nothing insane. So many ripped H&M, American Eagle, you know, just not what I'm looking for. I checked out the men's shorts because I thought they would have a nice jorts selection. And these shorts are actually by the same brand that I own a pair of jeans from, which were my first stone wash, like baggy vibe jeans I got five years ago. So that was definitely, that was definitely really cool. This is a POV, okay, of what it's like to be pulling all these clothes out. The way I thought this graphic was cute and then saw it was from Streetwear Society, which I'm pretty sure is like Urban Planet. Like, no. That's what I mean. It's just all the shit that you know was at Value Village and it didn't sell, so now it's here. This fur jacket deadass looked like it was balding and that's kind of the opposite of what I want in a fur jacket. Me zooming into an H&M tag to let you know that's what these bins consist of. Like it's just so many fast fashion brands. I feel like how I felt during this is how some people feel while thrifting, which I can completely understand because if you're not finding good shit, it's just like, why am I here? The reason I'm able to thrift for three hours straight, if not longer, is because I always find good shit, you know? And I was here and I was just like, uh, maybe that's cute. You know, it's too small for me, but it's like the cutest thing I've seen in the last 30 minutes, so I'm putting it in my cart. If you've ever thrifted by the pound, definitely let me know. Maybe there's another location in Toronto I would definitely be keen to checking out. They did have mirrors, which I was really surprised about. I don't know why I thought there would be like nothing in this store. I expected just bins in a row and that's it. This skirt I put into the cart with an intention of taking off the two buttons. They were just on with like one stitch so I could easily remove them, but it was very high-waisted and not what I expected. These are the shorts, like they're okay. I'm just not gonna reach for these ever. I 
put these guest jeans on one leg and was like, no, I don't need these. This was a unique skirt with the buckles in the back, but I don't know, I just was like, uh, no. It's okay, if I were to cover the buckles, it would deadass look like it's from Gap. I honestly love these shorts. I'm so excited to wear these in the summertime. They're a little bit too big, but I honestly don't mind. No, never, that's not happening. I think I'm gonna be selling these jeans on Depop. I did really like the stitching, so I got them. I only got three things. It cost me $11. I walked back to the car and I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Next store, I went to this store called Just Thrift. It's kind of a combination between consignment and then just regular things you'd find at the thrift store. So I found this DKNY camo sweater vest situation. I really love this skirt. I will try it on, you guys will see it a little bit better. These bags you could definitely come by at the thrift store, but they were charging $50. Love these Rockaware pumps. Also found some cute hiking shoes, but these were size five, and I'm not size five, so I put them back. If it was summer right now, I probably would have bought these basketball shorts. I love how they have this white border. I have Nike ones very similar to that that I wear all the time. I picked up a couple winter jackets to try on. This one I think is actually really vintage Aritzia. It's by Tallulah, and I've never seen them in this era. And then I found this one by Jacob, which as you guys know, is one of my favorite brands to thrift. Didn't need it. It just gave me some inspiration for what I'm gonna be looking for jacket-wise. And then I realized that they had change rooms. So please enjoy the much better lighting. I did not like this at all. Like absolutely nothing about it. The fit was weird. I hate that it scoops down and also it was $16. I loved this skirt. I thought it was so cool. I definitely could have bought it, but it was just so high-waisted. Like I hate saying that because you know, I'm not saying that this applies to everyone, that you can't wear high-waisted shit. I just personally don't find it comfortable. It's just never the vibe I'm imagining with any outfit. If this was a little bit longer and lower-waisted, I would have bought it so fast. Okay, and then we headed over to Salvation Army. It was about 5 o'clock, so I didn't really go in with any crazy expectations because I normally go thrifting when it opens, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., but I did actually come by some really cool things. The first section I looked in was the women's tank tops and I found a lot of colorful pieces. And then I found this really cute black tank top which I actually just remembered about and I need to wash. It's by the brand Gas. This was another brand new tank top, tag still on, and it was marked as $95. I don't know why, I've never heard of this brand. If you guys know, let me know, but I obviously fucking loved the back of it. found a little BCBG blazer. The pink ribbon in the front honestly kind of threw me off. Definitely not something I'm trying to buy or even try on, but I just was like, why is there so many new things and why are they all so expensive? Also, please understand that I was wearing a GoPro on my chest to film for you guys. Like the way that I'm so committed to letting you guys really come thrifting with me. I have an idea to do a real time come thrift with me where I turn the camera on as soon as I walk into the store and then I just film my entire thrift trip. I don't edit it and you guys can actually witness every single thing I look at at the thrift store and basically be there with me. So let me know if you would actually want to watch that. I looked through all the jackets and then the long sleeves and I did find one long sleeve that was super weird and I feel like whenever I come across something that I just don't understand, like by looking at it, I'm genuinely confused. I need to try it on. That was definitely this shirt and I needed to put it on my body. You guys will see what it looks like. And this was also brand new, so I don't know what was going on. I feel like this store specifically gets a lot of stock from stores that maybe didn't sell specific things. I looked through the activewear pants. I found these royal purple velour pants by Boca Athletic. I've never heard of this brand. These are fake Ed Hardy, unfortunately. Capris, if they were long, I definitely would have bought them regardless, but 
I'm like, do I see myself wearing capris? I actually had pants like this when I was in grade four and I wore them all the time and I just don't know if that's still me, you know? And then I found this Kooji sweater. I was definitely super hyped to find this, but it's giving clown, you know? Like, I like it, but I tried it on and was like, I don't think I'm ever wearing this. Another brand new shirt. I don't know, I honestly don't know. I've never had this happen when I've been thrifting. It's kind of weird. Like, it's cool, but it's also a little bit sus. I think this is the funniest thing that's ever happened to me while thrifting. I'm looking at the t-shirts and I find this, what I thought was an Ed Hardy t-shirt, and it's by Disney. I checked at the homeware section and you guys know I'm always looking for a crystal heart dish, which I can never come across. And then I came across this shell dish, which is so dope and it's currently my toothbrush holder and I love it. I set everything aside on a rack to try on. This was definitely the easiest try on I've ever done in a thrift store. You guys always see me like in the midst of 20 people trying shit on. This store had a mirror in the back, away from everyone. The first thing I tried on was this off the shoulder shirt and this off the shoulder shirt. I did really like it. I feel like for the summertime, it's such an easy thing to grab for. I did cop it. I think it was $3. Loved the back of this top. Like actually I'm obsessed with it. I do want to do a DIY like this onto some of the shirts I already have. The front wasn't everything, you know, I feel like I might layer with it in some way to kind of make it more my style. Love this tank top, definitely something I'm gonna throw on all the time, especially just when I'm at home chilling. I did not like this top, really gave me like elderly. It looks like there's a fishnet on the sleeve and it was so tight. Again, this top is dope, but I actually feel like a clown. Somebody else will find it and love it and wear it way more than I will. Wasn't here for the fit of these pants. They gathered kind of weird at the crotch and they just weren't sexy. And when I'm wearing a velour pant, if it's not sexy, I'm not gonna wear it, you know? That is everything I came across while thrifting for an entire day. Thank you guys so much for coming with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.